I've been collecting my trash for like half a year just to do this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing an empties video, but this is like an empties video, what I have used up. If you guys don't like these videos, I have a ton of other content on this channel, so I'll see you on Sunday. So this is just a little Wednesday upload to talk about what I have been loving, what I have used up, I'm gonna rank them out of five and then let you know if I'll be making the repurchase because there's a few things here that I will never let grace my body again and a few that I just simply can't live without. We're also gonna be doing them by section, so if you are looking for one very specific thing from me, hair care, makeup, cleansers, facial, product <laughs> you can just look in the description below and i will have those timestamps linked but without further ado i can just see the vastness of what's going on here so let's get into this video let's start with body so in my shower normally there will always be dove body wash and uh, my favorite scents that i always i'll just buy i'll just get whatever one's on sale i am absolutely obsessed with the shea butter and warm vanilla and then as well the cucumber and green tea those are both my absolute faves 100 giving those a five and would make the repurchase the next thing that i have had in my shower for a long time now this was a gifted product but i've also made the repurchase because i am so obsessed with this line and it might catch you by surprise it's the mary Kay satin body this is the indulgent shea wash and this seriously smells like you are on an incredible vacation. That one particularly is a little bit more thick, so I can actually put it on my hands when I'm in a bath and kind of like rub it all over my arms, over my legs, and even if it's underwater, it will still kind of stick to my skin, which is really nice. Whereas the Delve product I normally use on a loofah and that one's really good too because you can just get it on sale at the drugstore and it's all good. Next up we're gonna do hair. So this is the Schwarzkopf Bonacure 4.5 Color Freeze. If you are a blonde cutie like me, <laughs> you definitely need one of these. This is a purple shampoo, has a really great salon smell to it. Highly recommend this product. It's for gray and lightened hair and it's extremely effective. When I use that shampoo, and obviously I don't use that every single day, that would really dry out your hair. It's basically just for toning it, taking out that brassiness. I notice, I notice right after I do that, and I do leave it on for a little bit. Everyone who's ever used purple shampoo, I can probably claim that you have left it on too long at one point and accidentally made your hair look a little lavender. That has happened to me with that product, but I will say it's amazing. With this one, it's uh, the Kevin Murphy Angel Rinse, would purchase again. Hydrate Me Rinse, one. Hated this one. I have extremely fine hair, and if you guys have problems with fine hair as well, I will link my fine hair video up above. Don't get this. This is not an empty. This is still very, very heavy, and the reason why I am not repurchasing this is because it weighted my hair down. I hated how it made my hair feel even after blow drying it. So nope, wouldn't repurchase that again. The Angel Rinse though in the conditioner, which is this one, they're really great and they're also sulfate free, which is such a good benefit when it comes to keeping your hair really nice and not overwashing or over processing it. Let's go into more of the mask G unit. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Not bad. Didn't, didn't love the smell of this one. Kind of just indifferent about it. Three. Not the best. Wouldn't repurchase if I got it gifted. I'd use it. Next up, we've got the Garnier Fructus. This is their one minute hair mask. It can be used as a mask, a leave-in conditioner, um, just a regular conditioner. It's really a three-in-one product. And I freaking wish Oh, I wish that you guys could smell this. This is Scott's favorite product. This is the avocado flavor. The other scents I'll put right here, I believe there's coconut, papaya, this one. There's one more I can't remember. But anyways, Scott is obsessed with the papaya one. He doesn't like using a lot of conditioner because it will just make his hair really poofy. He's obsessed with this one. The smell is so good. The other day he went out to Shopper's Drug Mart and he came back and he had like all of them he pretty much bought them all out i think a lot of you have probably heard of this one the olaplex hair perfector number three this one is really good for the ends repairing and strengthening your hair now currently i do have some extensions in though you'll notice the difference between my hair now versus in that video that i linked above so i haven't been using this hair 
take home treatment on all of my hair, just on kind of the fronts of it. But I do notice the difference after I use this a little bit more consistently. And I also like to just kind of leave it in. Maybe I'm doing a workout, braid my hair, leave this in, sleep in with it overnight, and then just kind of have a bath or a shower in the morning and rinse it out. As for my dry shampoo life, we are embracing the dry shampoo life. I uh, never used dry shampoo when I was in university or high school. It was kind of something I discovered after. The Living Proof Perfect Day Dry Shampoo, I purchased this at Sephora. And this one is the 355 milliliters. The 300 milliliters is the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh. Again with this, I usually will get this in the tropical scent, the cherry scent, and then the original kind of third. It just depends on whatever's on sale. I did love the Living Proof one, but it is way more expensive than the one that you can get at Shoppers Batiste. For a while, I was having an itchy scalp with this one, and I think I was just going through a phase where I was using products that maybe cause an itchy scalp, and I thought this was the issue. So I'm glad I went back to it because, of course, it's a little bit more cost-effective when you can just pick it up at the drugstore. Let's go into fragrance next because it'll just be super easy. Guys, this is my perfume. I'm obsessed. The reason why I have so many of these bottles as well is because if you keep all of your empties from MAC, this is the conversion, you will get a free lipstick from all of your containers. So over the year, I have been collecting all of my MAC containers, which you will see in the makeup section. This is my perfume. It's called Turquatic. There was a period of time where MAC actually discontinued all of their perfumes, and then they had brought back this one line, and all of them were awful. Finally, they came back with Turquatic, and I was so thrilled. So I've been wearing this one since late high school, and it's one of those things where I will see someone I haven't seen in a long time, and they will literally say, oh my gosh, smells like you. <laughs> Moving on to lip care. I have a couple of little empties, and I actually should have many more of these because I'm 100% obsessed. The Laneige Sleeping Care Lip Sleeping Mask. So I have purchased both of them, one in that original, that top one, and then as well, the grapefruit flavor. And I love this mask so much. It's one of those things where, you know when you get a product and you just wanna have it on all the time? This is that product for me. And because I don't have it right now in the driest time, I'm going to be making this purchase as soon as I am done filming this video. I feel completely lost. Another one that I was trying for hydrating my lips outside of like just a Vaseline or something like that was the Lana Lips, and I did like it. I would say like a four out of five. Didn't mind the flavor or texture of this. It was really nice, had a thicker consistency, but I think I just like the Laneige sleeping mask a little bit more. As for facial creams, this is the one for me. It is not irritating. I have very sensitive skin when it comes to cleansers or creams. We will talk about that in a moment's time. And Anna from the Anna Edit mentioned that she always uses this because she also has sensitive skin. I love the fact to have a base that isn't scented and and doesn't have any sort of like glitter or anything to it. It's so weird. It's so weird to me when companies just add these extra pieces to kind of make it a bit more mar marketable. But this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I ended up going to a Kiehl's event and learning all about the way that they make their skincare. And I was so inspired and so impressed by everything that they were saying, how much goes into their products, the science behind it. And this is something that I have clearly made the double purchase of before. And when I was shopping for skincare for Scotty, actually for Christmas, Kiehl's was the way that I went. I just had a lot of confidence in their skincare after that. So for sure, five out of five would repurchase. Around Christmas time, 2019, I got this My Clarins pack and it had all of these in it. So this is a sleeping mask, a gel purifying cleansing gel. This was their remove jelly cream. And then they also had a boost refreshing cream. Loved the sense of these, loved the way they made my skin feel very, very conducive for sensitive skin. So if you're just looking for a one-stop shop just to make like a purchase of all of the things that you might need to take off your makeup and maybe hydrate your skin at the end of the night, definitely like these ones. <laughs> One of my favorite parts about being a Sephora member is having the little bonus gifts on your birthday. And last birthday, I think I got this, the Tatcha Deep Cleanser, as well as the Tatcha Water Cream. Talk about obsessed, obsessed 
with these products. Now they do run higher in price point, but it makes sense that they made this the birthday gift because they basically pull you in and get you addicted. The way that this cleaned my skin, the deep cleanse, it made me feel so good because I'm often wearing TV makeup for my job. I just really need that like deep cleanse to get all of the makeup off of there. And then as well, I pretty much licked this clean, the water cream. I have never felt a cream this consistency. You put it on your skin and it almost just like slips. It's just so beautiful. And that is something I'm going to be making a repurchase of, but first I definitely need to repurchase that Kiehl's everyday cream before I get into the Tatcha products. The Neutrogena Bright Boost Resurfacing Micro Polish. That just sounds like it is going to peel my skin right off. And then the Bright Boost Illuminating Serum. Both of these have such a beautiful premise and the story of the different scientists that were younger women around the world coming together to create these. The serum, it was really nice. I just didn't notice a difference. And then as well, the micro polishing resurfacing product I just found was too harsh for my skin. This is one of my cult favorites. Definitely making this repurchase the life plankton elixir by biotherm i was going through a period of time where my skin was just not having it it was like just very uneven i was getting a bunch of red spots and then i ended up being able to try this product and i can tell that it's the end of the end of uh, 2019 that i got this because engraved on it it says amanda it's because i got it at an event and they were saying how it really does take that eight plus days for your skin to start reacting to a product and to see some of those changes. And I just found that my skin was so even when I put these drops on at night, I felt like I was really doing something positive for my skin. And that's all I needed to be convinced. So I also have been diving into some new cleansers for cleansing my skin. One of the most important things you can do at the end of the night, clean your face. <laughs> so my favorite one, 100% will be making the repurchase for the number nine jelly cleanser from Drunk Elephant. This is the one that I use every single night. I know that I'm getting all of my makeup off and it's the perfect place to start for me because it's extremely gentle and it's extremely smooth on your skin. If you have extra sensitive skin, maybe even more sensitive skin than me, you can't even do an exfoliant. You can't do all of these other like vitamin C and retinol because that's just terrifying. This is the cleanser for you. It's not going to do a huge job at taking off your makeup. You're going to have to get a makeup remover and then use this cleanser, but it is so, so delicate. It's the Kate Somerville Delicate Soothing Cleanser. And if there's ever a case where I have used a bunch of product, but I still have to clean my skin because I've had makeup on and my skin is irritated AF and it's just so angry at me, this is the product that you grab for. Last but not least, I did it. I made the purchase. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal out of it, but sometimes just like buying all these things at Sephora, it can be overwhelming because you want to make sure that you purchase the right thing and your money is valuable. I purchased the Tatcha rice water as soon as it came out obsessed absolutely love this product not one that i use every single day sometimes i will pre-clean with my drunk elephant product and then say just i'm having a bath then i will go in with the extra pamper for tatcha and i love 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 this one okay so let's quickly go to face four foundation one of my absolute favorite needs to be in my makeup routine or even if i'm not using it i just need to know that it's there is the mac face and body i wear the shade c2 so if you have no idea what to buy and it's really hard right now because you can't go in store if you are close to my shade you might be C2. This has been super helpful. I will say as well, with work, they have a deal with MAC. So there's quite a few products in here that we use because it's so great for TV makeup. One that I found in 20, was it 2019 or 2020? I can't remember, but I've been obsessed ever since, have been nude sticks. This is the tinted cover foundation. And I think what I've just started realizing as I'm now in my late twenties, almost 30, oh my God, is that I just want to look like myself, but maybe a bit better. <laughs> I want my skin, but better. I take nude 2.5 and I love the way this makes my skin feel. I love the way it makes my skin look. I love the smell. 
I love that there's extra added benefits of having the Nude Sticks products and I 100 100% I'm gonna be purchasing this again. I got this Giorgio Armani. The Giorgio Armani, oh my God, why can't I say that word? <laughs> the Giorgio Armani face fabric. Just think about that. I literally think about taking fabric and putting it on my face. And that is this product. If you need some full coverage, honey, this is the one for you. Look at this shade though. This is not my shade. What is going on here? When was I wearing this? I have no idea, but there is quite a bit of this gone. And now it is going to the wayside. One thing that's so great about a product like this though is you may not be using full, full coverage foundation every single day, but the expiry on this, if you look at the tiny little tin, if you guys, you guys probably know this, but I'll say it anyways. If you look at that tiny little container there, it will have a number in there and this one says 24 which means that when you open the package from day one you now have 24 months until it is deemed expired so this is now expired i've had that for some time but i think i would make that repurchase because damn i look like a fresh little baby when i had that on my skin when we were able to go back into shopping malls, I was able to go to Sephora and I really wanted to just refill my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which should be in this empty, but I realize have, has been thrown out since then. But they were out of my shade, unfortunately. And sometimes that's a good thing because you'll end up trying something new. So I ended up trying the Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation from Tarte. This is in the color Fair Sand. When I first saw this, I was kind of bummed because I was thinking, oh, the, the Born This Way one, there's just so much product and it'll just last me so long. This has lasted me so, so long. Don't let this packaging deceive you. It's a beautiful foundation. I really love the way that it covered my skin. It just felt really good. It wasn't too, too much, but it was definitely kind of that full coverage feeling. Would highly recommend if you're looking to try something new to try that Tarte one. This is basically hashtag TV makeup and it's the Studio Fix fluid foundation as well as all of these, the Studio Fix pressed powder. This is so good for taking away the shine. This is something where it's like, if you just have it in your purse and they do have the little sponge underneath and you're on the go and you're taking photos and you just wanna do a little bit of a, of a cover up and just make sure that you, you look really nice and smooth, Grab yourself a Studio MAC fix. Another thing that I did have from MAC as well was their bronzers. One of them had a matte finish to it. One of them was a little bit more of a shiny finish. Totally fine, great, just kind of bored with it. So three out of five, maybe you would go back to it, but I've really been enjoying the Fenty Beauty bronzer much more. These are my favorite mascaras. They're the ones I use every day, all day, all the time. Love them, repurchase all the time. Can't believe that I only have four of these empties here. There's probably many more fallen soldiers in the garbage. The NARS Climax Mascara is one of my absolute faves, as well as the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. Love that. These are the look of the brushes. This is the one that I absolutely hate, that I wish would die. And I hate these kind of brushes. I'm so sorry if you love them, but all I end up doing is poking myself in the eye, crying, and then getting this mascara all down my face. I just hate it. I don't even know the name of it, but it is another MAC one and it's more of that brush where it's like the plastic tip and then all of those little bristles that come out, can't do it. Anytime someone asks me about my eyelashes though, I always turn them over to the NARS Climax Mascara or that MAC False Lashes one. Guys, it's the one. Curl your lashes, put that on and feel freaking fire. Couple of brow products. I have the Big Brow Pencil from MAC, didn't have a lot of control, wasn't good at it. The one that I absolutely use all the time and make the repurchase forever and ever and ever is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. And as well, their little, little spoolie guy. This is very similar. The first time that I had experienced something like this second product was Boy Bait by Glossier. I just found that I ran out of product so quickly. So just this Benefit Duo combo has been the chef's kiss for me. One thing that I would like to try is the Anastasia brows, <laughs> but I'm also kind of intimidated. Let me know if you guys have tried that one and how you feel about it. Finally, I have a bunch of glosses, again, grabbing these from work. Um, and it's basically just the glosses from MAC. And I normally get the colors Fashion Scoop, Candy Box, and Boy Bait. 
all really good ones, clearly all this light shade of pink. And it's just nice when you can apply your lipstick, say it's a bit more matte, and then I'll just throw this one over top and they always look really, really nice. Two eyeshadow palettes that I sadly have to say goodbye to are this one, the Bare Minerals Neutral Palette. I actually had, <gasps> I carried this around with me everywhere. I actually had to tape it shut. I can't even show you guys, and the front is completely um, worn off, so I'll put a picture of what it's supposed to look like. But I love this one. It's such a great nude palette if that's what you're into. For travel, it's such a good size. And last but not least, the one that I absolutely used to death was the Toasted Palette by Tarte. I think this was one of my first real nice palettes that I ever got. And there was just quite a few colors in there that I just used up completely. And just, uh, I think that will be a repurchase for me because I love those orange tones, especially having blue eyes. So that is it, that is all. Those are all of my empties. I had a couple of random things that I decluttered as well, but didn't use fully. And for the most part, these are the things that I use all the time. If you guys actually wanna see what my current routine is and my current cult favorites and products, I think I'm gonna be doing a video with that just to show you, one, if I wasn't in blogging or anything like that, what I would use every single day, and what I would travel with too if I just had a small bag. Remember traveling? What a time to be alive. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. If you made it this far in this video, please put like an emoji or something down below so I know that you made it this far. And if you have a product that you think that I should give a try, also please link that down below. I love you guys so much and we will see you in Sunday's upload. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. It just helps my little nook of the internet grow and grow. Bye guys.